We're going to jump right in here with question number one. If God created the universe, who created God? Now, if I was a skeptic, this is probably one of the first questions that I would ask. Because we as Christians, we say, there's no way that this universe could be just an accident. An explosion formed our nice orderly universe and life. And so it must have been created by God. Well, then a skeptic says, fine, if God created the universe, then who created God? Because if he's even more complex than this universe, he couldn't have come into existence by himself by accident. So who created God? A great question. And as I travel around the country, I find that most Christians don't really have a good response to this question. They wonder about it, but they're not quite sure what to say. Well, we're going to look at this question from two different angles. First of all, what does the Bible have to say? And what does science have to say? And we always start with the Bible because I think it's the inspired Word of God. So we're going to begin there. What does the Bible say about this question? Next question, where did all the races come from? This is probably one of the most important questions that we'll address today in this presentation because the idea of races is tied with racism. And I think the foundation for racism is the idea of evolution. And here's a fascinating story, sad story, of a man named Otabenga. He was an African Aborigine. He lived in the early 1900s, and we were kind enough here in the United States to allow him to live with us. But we actually had him living in the Bronx Zoo with the chimpanzees. And the reason was they wanted to show how evolution works. We've evolved from the apes, and so you've got a chimpanzee here, and you've got Otabenga. He's somewhere in between here. It kind of demonstrates how evolution works. They would let him out of the zoo, uh, out of the cage every once in a while. He could roam the zoo, and people would literally walk around and sometimes even poke him to see what is this oddity here that we're looking at. Eventually, they let him out of the zoo altogether. He ended up committing suicide. Can you imagine why? All based on the idea of evolution. Very, very sad story. 